everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on the smaller mobile chicken run. As you can see to your left over here, we have the full-size chicken run that we're going to be attaching to the side of the house up here. For the time being, we're using this as a mobile chicken run, and it, it can, in an awkward sort of way, be moved around the yard. They can eat at the clovers and the clover flowers, and they're pooping into the grass, which is helping to fertilize all the ground here. It's working out pretty well, but I need to have a smaller version of this, which is much easier to move around. And this is eventually going to be the permanent chicken run that is attached to the side of the house where they can exit, uh, you know, just at their leisure from the greenhouse chicken coop that is nearly done. I just have to make a roof over it and put a door on it so they can't just run into the rest of the greenhouse. So I'm working on that back over here. You can see that they're starting to kind of, uh, I don't want to call it fighting, uh, playing. They're playing with each other. Uh, I'm going to bring, bring you over to this one over here in just a moment, but first I wanted to show how, how the garden's doing. Uh, I know I did a video about the garden a while back. The garlic over here is doing really well. We've been uh, cutting the tops, the little curly cue tops off the top of that. That stuff is edible, plus uh, taking that, uh, that stuff off helps to make the garlic uh, bulbs down uh, underground a lot uh, bigger at the end of the season. Uh, and I've been using them in stir fries and also just chopping them up into little bits and using them in like veggie wraps and things. The potatoes are doing really well. There's two rows of potatoes. So far, I haven't seen any potato bugs on them, and that's kind of unusual. Usually those get, you know, hounded pretty badly, but they're doing all right. The asparagus is kind of, you know, it's doing its thing. It's coming up for the first year. It's growing roots. This is in its permanent location. We're going to be moving that later. Over here, these are Jerusalem artichokes. These guys through here, also not the permanent location for those guys. We're going to be moving those to different places later. But uh, tomatoes are doing well. Um, we've got, well, butternut squash is kind of, yeah, but it's not dead. Uh, another row of tomatoes. We've got amaranth growing up over here, and uh, that, so far so good on that. And the big triangle of beans is doing pretty well too. Let's go over and see the chicken run that we're working on right over here. This stuff, by the way, is just a random weed. I just kind of think it's neat. It's got fuzzy leaves, and it's not in my way, so I let it grow. Uh, it's got uh, kind of pretty uh, magenta flowers at the top too when it uh, uh, you know, goes to bloom. So uh, this is going to be the mobile chicken run. It is the same size of that uh, in terms of its le uh, depth, but its width is two feet um, narrower. So that's eight feet by eight feet. This is eight feet by six feet. It's also a little bit shorter. The only reason I made it shorter is that I just happened to have uh, seven pieces of this scrap, uh, these two by three pieces of scrap, and you know, it was a perfect use for it because I needed exactly seven of them. I think so, exactly seven. Anyway. Um, so I made it a little bit short. It's like eight inches shorter than that one. Not for any reason other than the fact I was able to use up scrap and it's still totally fine for the chickens and even River likes going in there and he can sit in there and honest, honestly, I could sit in there. Uh, you know, it's not too low for me to sit in there either. So uh, I got the whole thing together yesterday. The only thing I was lacking was an extra uh, pressure treated two by four, which I just ripped down uh, to the proper uh, length. It's gonna fit right down under here. I already have the screws all ready to go into it. As soon as that's done, I'm just going to put the chicken wire around it and, uh, you know, pretty much done. Oh, well, one other thing. There is going to be a connection between here and here so I can run two four-foot lengths of uh, uh, chicken wire over the top. So uh, this should be done, I think, by the end of the day today. And that will be a lot easier to move the chickens around. They'll be able to get up this aisle right behind you, which is too narrow for the eight-foot one. That's it. Thanks for watching.